Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Satisfactory, and I've done a little bit of experimenting and work since the last episode. Last time we started, uh, just the beginnings of our organization process, where we're actually building a factory on foundations, and I, uh, experimented with this storage system here where all the storages are kind of leading into these singular ones so coming in from that side and then coming on down into here so we got uh was that eight nine storage containers per input to kind of back up and fill up with now right now what you see coming through here is actually a siphoned off um source from our original nodes over here this was all excess so this does not actually affect the production of what's happening in our chaos area this is just what was kind of not being efficiently produced. This is the excess stuff that was being produced from the mines. So I siphoned that off over here just so I could see what was happening. And uh, then I added a whole row of smelters. Oh no, we did have the smelters in the last episode now that I remember. But we did add all these smelters go into the next level of storage. So they smelt all iron ingots, go into this next level of storage, which is a duplicate of that. So then this is where the iron ingots would be stored and ready to be exported into constructors. Now here is where I'm kind of on the fence. Actually, all of this I'm on the fence about. I'm just kind of experimenting. We might change all of this up soon, but uh, this is just kind of like testing to see if this is what I want to do or not. So at this moment, what I'm thinking is I'm going to want a dedicated area for each of the iron ingot based constructions. And there are three right now that I have. So under recipes, we have iron plate, which is made uh, from iron ingots down here. We have iron rods, which is made from iron ingots. And the only other thing that we can make from iron ingots directly is the alternative uh, iron wire recipe from iron ingots. So I figured it might be good to not have to rely on copper for anything in particular, because I think iron right now wire is the only copper based thing. So using this alternative uh, recipe, is actually really handy for that. So now there are things that kind of source from iron ingots like screws because you need iron rods to make screws and then the cables because we're gonna need that wire to make cables. So what I'm thinking is what if this chain that we've created here is just one floor for a single resource? Right now I have all three of them being produced. We have one, two, three, four, five, six constructors and they are broken up into three groups of two. So two constructors are producing iron plates, two constructors are producing iron uh, rods, and two constructors are producing the iron-based wire. And they're all just feeding into sets of six storage, which isn't a lot. But what I could do is make another floor identical to this. So we have iron going into each of these three floors, then each of these three floors is set up in an identical way, but the constructors are dedicated to a specific resource so one floor would be purely wire one floor would be purely rods and one floor would be purely plates and then we can kind of expand onto what those could go into but we could just have a whole bunch of storage for each one in particular so i think that is probably what i'm going to lean towards but right now i just have it producing a little bit of everything just as an example but um one thing we're going to really need is uh more iron coming in i think and what I'm afraid to do is detach anything happening over there because it's doing such a good job at producing everything I need, including with the assemblers. And I don't want to interrupt that right now. So what I think I might do for this episode is experiment with the tractors. I don't actually have any mobile uh, like truck stations or anything set up yet, and I never have set any of those up yet. So it might be good. I don't know if you remember our original base way back over there somewhere, but we have three iron nodes there. What if we took the iron that we needed from all the way over there using trucks and figure out how trucks work in this episode? Um, oh, and as you can see, I put a ramp going up to the second floor so we can start a second floor if I needed to. Like I said, I don't know how the truck stations work yet. I'm assuming that we have to have a truck station there for the truck to pick up resources and a truck station here for the truck to drop off resources. So in order to make truck stations, I can make one right now. I need to be able to make two truck stations. And let's say I want to make two trucks too, because I don't know if, I don't know how fast we can transport resources. 
How does a truck station and a tractor compare to, compare to a conveyor belt going straight there? All right, so we're gonna need modular frames, rotors, and cables and beacons. We have the rotors and the cables. We need the modular frames, which I think I have all the resources for anyway. Oh, and a quick update. I also got the uh, rebar gun. So that's something that's kind of new. Let's go ahead and reload. I've never actually shot this thing yet. So can we aim down sights? Nope, looks like we just gotta aim like that. All right. Oh, oh, that actually has a kind of a low bullet velocity, or I guess rebar velocity. Okay, so we have all the resources we need for our truck stations. Now the question is, where do I put the truck stations? We are gonna be focusing on iron for this one, and we're gonna have iron be coming from this direction. You can see how I have it routed over here right now. I have one going into that area of storage, one going into that area of storage. So we're pretty much gonna have it identical going up top. So I feel like our truck station should be in this area because this is where we're going to have to route the iron into the building. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our truck station. How big is this thing? It's pretty big. We have the output. Uh, whoa. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting center point to rotate. So I'm just going to place it right there for a sec just to see how it looks. So now I do need to route coal here, don't I? So that way we can keep refueling the trucks. All right, so all of our coal is coming from up here, feeding down into here, and we do have a bunch of splitters that do have, like, an extra little thing that we could split off from to kind of siphon off some coal. So I'm wondering, do we want to split off of here and then kind of feed it underneath all the way over to there? That could work. All right, so now we have coal feeding into this truck uh, station here. So it's not the it's not the most pretty or aesthetically well built thing, but it pretty much I don't know if you can see all the way over there, but it lines all the way from there. It goes all the way underneath and all the way over here, and it should just feed directly in. So do we get do we get some coal getting over here yet? There it is. Man, look at look at how much is that. This is how much excess we have. Okay. All right, well, we got a lot of coal production happening, fortunately, just from that single node. I think it might have been a pure node, which is giving us, like, way more than it should be giving us normally. So now, we got this truck station. So why don't we build ourselves a tractor, because we need to be able to get our tractor from here back to the other place, and then back here, which that's going to be a whole nother thing, because going through this archway... We can't go through this archway. We might have to go around because this is like a big gap that falls down. Unless we just build like a ramp going over it. But you know what? It might not be too bad just to go around it, to be honest. So let's build ourselves a tractor and we'll drive it over there. All right. So we're all fueled up here. I don't know how much coal this uses. Um, let me see. What's here? No, don't enable autopilot. Cancel. Okay. Oh, boy. This thing's pretty fast. I like that. All right. An 89 already. Oh, actually, that's kind of like a lot of coal that this uses. This uses up coal really fast. All right, well, this is a really fast vehicle though, so that's nice. So we are going, I think I see my place. Is that it over there? Oh, there it is, right over there. Okay, that's not very far at all. I like that. All right, this might not be too bad. Because right now this place is out of power. We don't have any power going here. <gasps> How are we gonna get power? Uh oh, we're gonna have to find more coal. How are we gonna get power to the truck station over here? We don't have a source of power for this truck station. And we're going to have to figure out how to get all, the, all of our resources out of here. Because we need to tear this place down. All right, where is the nearest coal node to here? Perhaps we can route some coal through here. Maybe not. I get. I guess. I guess. What? What? 600 meters that way? Because we can, we can put a truck station here. And then what we can do is we can deliver coal in between the truck stations. So we're going to go ahead and dismantle a bunch of stuff here. I don't know why this is giving me a power down notice. This is already powered down stuff. Oh, my inventory is full, but that's okay. We got a bunch of storage here that we can just drop some stuff off in. Okay, so now for the truck station, we need to receive pretty much from those miners. So we need to make a lot more space out here. All right, so I now have a truck station here, and I guess, I mean, I should just rotate a thing going directly in. Oh, one of these is specifically for fuel, and one of these is for storage. That makes more sense now. So we got to move this over to there, and then it should go into storage. Okay, I think I set this up so it's prepared to receive 
coal and power everything here. So I've dismantled the entire base other than the storage, which is kind of an inconvenient location, but there's not much I can do about that right now. So here is the coal generator. This coal generator needs to receive coal. The coal will be dropped off at this truck station. This truck station will then receive the coal, export the coal through here, which will go through to the coal generator, as well as feed back into itself to provide coal power to the trucks that are stopping by. And it will be split off over to this truck station. And this truck station will be receiving coal to keep the vehicles powered, as well as receiving iron from these nodes here. In this room, we could put another truck station over here or something if you want to split up the iron for multiple things. And this will not be exporting anything because this is where the, the uh, iron is going to be picked up and brought back to our main base. I don't I don't know how, how trucks work yet because I've never set one up yet, but I think I have this set up in a way that it will work. If not, then I look real stupid right now, but I guess we'll find out. We need to go find ourselves some coal. Oh no, I'm just remembering another logistical nightmare. We have to power the miner that is gonna mine the coal. What? Oh no, no, we can do that. Wait, maybe this whole thing isn't as complicated as I thought. What if we just route power cables from our main base? That might be easier, but we still need fuel at the truck stations. No, we still need to route coal to the truck stations. Okay, never mind. But, um, hold on. Wait, is this... This is not the thing, but we have a special object up there, which I think I might want to take. All right, we do have room in our... No, 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 where are you going? Stop it. Stop. No, no, no. Disable autopilot. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. All right, there's coal near here somewhere. Where is it? 200 that way, but let's go ahead and get this, uh, special item up here. All right, there we go. Collecting Summer's Loop. There's not even any animals protecting it, which is nice. Okay, so now, where is this coal? Hmm. Oh, there's some animals down there. Oh, oh, ooh. Ooh, that's across the way. Oh, and there's a big guy over there. But we got a lot better weapons now, but we got to get across that. We got to build. We got to build something. That's interesting. It's like a whole island over there. I never came across that before. How do enemies deal with vehicles? Do they attack your vehicle and do you get hurt? I'm really curious about that, actually. All right, let's park this guy right here. I think I want to... Hmm. How do we... What's the best way to get over there? All right. I don't know if we really need these ramps here, but just in case, I'm being extra cautious. And we got one of those fiery things. So let's see. Can I use... From a distance, I'm going to see if I can use my uh, rebar gun. I just don't know how to shoot it yet. I don't know what the the bullet drop and stuff is. All right, let's see here. Is he running at me? Oh, I got to reload. Oh, he's running at me now. I don't know if I hit him. I think I hit him. Yeah, yeah, I hit him. All right, this isn't bad. There we are. That's not too bad. I like that. You know what? I didn't need to build this bridge here. I could have just put the... Uh, I could have put the conveyor going over there so that the truck the truck doesn't need to go to the node. The node just needs to feed to where a truck station is. Oh well. I needed the bridge over here just to get over here myself anyway. Alright, so if that's the case then, I'm actually going to put the truck station on a more easily accessible area up back here. And we're just going to feed the conveyor up into it. Oh, I didn't actually look at the purity of this. Oh, it's another pure one. Are you kidding me? Wow. Alright, so now we need to get power to this thing. So let's go ahead and get a power line. We'll put that. Can we put it up there? We should be able to put it up there. Floor is too steep. Now we need to we need to walk our way up there. All right, there we can see. I think I can see the coal is like right around there right now. It's heading on in this direction. So now what we need to do is actually make sure that this coal also gets split so it can go into the fuel area as well. So that should be able to split right into there. And I think that makes this now viable. So now we need to record a path from here to deliver coal over to there for that coal generator. Which will then provide power to that station. Okay, all right, I'm getting a feel for this now. So now this is going to be my first time recording a path. I genuinely have no idea how to do this. I'm just going to assume that it works intuitively. So I'm going to stay here, I guess, first. We're going to park here. I'm going to... Uh, start recording. Alright, it is recording. So now, 
we head over to our other truck station, which isn't too far. And there's like a road leading us there too, which is kind of cool. All right, hopefully I'm going in the right direction as well. Yeah, yeah, this looks right. And then we gotta drop it off. Where do we drop it off? I think I see it. Yeah, right in front of the coal generator. Do I have to record the path back or is it just a one way path that just gets recorded into a round trip? And then you get dropped off right here. <gasps> it doesn't have power yet. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Uh, all right, stop, finish recording. All right, enable autopilot. Are you gonna go back now? What happens if I get on with the autopilot? No, I don't, I don't under, no. Where are you going? Where is he going? What? I don't know what's happening. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I'm gonna give him half the coal he had, and I'm gonna put the other half into the coal generator so we can actually get power here. And then hopefully, we got power. Hopefully now, by the time that coal gets used up, we can do a, a coal delivery. All right, so now I'm going to enable autopilot. I just don't know if I have to complete a round trip or if half the trip, he'll just go back and forth. Okay, you have autopilot on, right? Now, what are you gonna do? Okay, you go here, and I think this is the end of your trip. Okay, I need to complete the second half of his trip, I think. All right, start recording. Then, you go back. I don't know if this is actually, this might be replacing what I already recorded. So I'm gonna complete this as a round trip. All right, we just received something. I don't know what we received. Well, let's find out when we get back. Oh, we definitely received some coal. We have full coal now. Okay, and then we drop off the coal. Why aren't we dropping anything off? Okay, let's finish recording. Okay, well now he's gonna go back. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, please drop something off. It's not dropping anything off. What did you do? Ow! <gasps> what did you- Did you not just kill- Okay. All right, vehicle. Drop off the coal. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Ah, uh, excuse me. Excuse me, please. Please. No. You didn't drop anything off. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Why did you not drop anything off? I'm an idiot. I am such an idiot. Oh, I didn't get power to that. Why didn't I not realize this whole time? This isn't actually connected to the power. Oh, that's why. So your, your path is probably correct, Mr. Mr. Uh, tractor. I just forgot to hook you up to power. All right, this should solve all of our problems. All right, let's hope that this will work now. Uh, autopilot enable. Where is he going? Excuse me, please. You have a job here. <laughs> Oh, you're, you're not the smartest vehicle, are you? Let's get you back on track here. All right, so now this should drop off. No, 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 you're not supposed to be. You're supposed to be taking. Oh, oh, okay, this makes sense now. This makes sense now. I did not, I was not aware of that. All right, you actually have to designate whether it's loading or unloading. You guys were probably screaming at your screens that whole time that I was doing that wrong, but figured it out. All right, figured it out all by myself. Now let's wait for it to come back and then finally see what happens. Now, hopefully this is not gonna burn all that coal that we had in there. 27 left. Okay, I think, I think we should be able to do this. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes. Work this time, work this time. I think we have everything set up. Yes, I think it just took it. So now what I'm gonna do is I wanna check out where it's receiving the coal from to see is it receiving as much as the node is exporting or is it like leaving some behind? Do I have enough to replace these with Mark II? Can't afford. I need reinforced iron plates. I forgot that this is a pure coal node, which means that miner is producing twice as much as normal. 
Okay, well, before I go and increase the uh, belt speed of the coal mine, since we're here, why don't we actually make our other tractor and draw our tractor path for our iron? Because then we can have our iron be getting dropped off here, and then we can deal with we can deal with the routing afterwards. But let's just draw the path first. That way, this can be um, receiving. This is unloading iron into here. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and start recording. It's gonna stop here. And then we have to go all the way over to our old base. Oh no, this does cross paths. I don't know if this is gonna collide or not. Well, there's the other one right there. Oh, this is gonna be kind of close with colliding. Do they collide? I don't know what happens if they collide. Okay, and this is going to pick up iron. How much does it pick up? Like, how much did we just pick up there? Because that's been collecting iron for a little while. If we stay here, does it pick up more? Or does it just give it everything it has? I don't actually know. All right, so then we have to cross paths again. I don't know if that's going to be an issue or not. All right, here we come. And we should drop it off right here. And now I'll go ahead and get out. Let's see how much did we... Oh, yes. Good, good, good. That is excellent. Okay, so now... You have autopilot on, don't you? Yeah. Go. 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 Um, go. Alright, there he goes. Maybe these... Edit this node. Delete. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe this will unconfuse it. Uh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 where's it going? Oh, <gasps> why is there, why is there a pathway? <gasps> I never said stop recording. What did you do? What did you do? He killed himself. You gotta be kidding me. We just wasted a tractor completely. All right, hold on. I'm going to save and I'm going to jump down there and see if there's anything down there. All right, well, there goes nothing. I'm just following it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that... What is that? How do we... All right, the truck is down here. We have to... I thought this was a bottomless pit, guys. I thought this was a bottomless pit. There's stuff down here. What kind of note is that? Alright, we got some exploring to do. Yes, here we go. There we go, and we are at the ground. Okay, what is this node? Sam Ore. A node of Sam Ore. I don't know what that even is. Alright, hopefully we can get this without triggering those things. There's like a this is like a shrine. Oh no. Don't open up. Don't open up. He's opening up. He's opening up. Oh, here comes the gas. There's like a shrine down here. What is this place? What is that? Limestone pure. Is there a way out of here? What's down here? All right. Good thing our tractor can actually fit here too. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see where this goes. Where does this come out? Does it come out or are we like trapped down here? All right, here we are. Here's the gas stuff. Let's watch our health. Oh, our tractor has health too. I just noticed that for the first time. Oh no, oh no, we're gonna die. We are so dead. I don't think I can eat while I'm on here. Oh, we made it through, just barely. All right, I'm gonna get out and heal. No, 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 autopilot, disable autopilot. You're not doing anything anymore. I cannot trust you. Although you did lead me, you did lead me to this interesting area. All right, what am I doing? I need some of this bacon. Give me that bacon, there we go. Okay. Now, where did this area come from? This is so interesting. There's two ways to go. Um, this way looks bigger. What? What? Hold on. Hold on. I gotta get out and explore for a second here. There's two different pathways. There's that way. And this is exposed to light over here. But where does this lead to? Oh, <gasps> there's the iron node. No way. Oh, oh, oh. 
We got a slug over here. I remember seeing the slug earlier, but didn't know how to get over here. This is fascinating. All right, well, we got a green power slug, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so I guess we'll just continue. It must open up to a path to get back to civilization over here. So let's continue down this tunnel and see where it leads us. Oh, look at that. It was right next to us the whole time. Our bridge over here. That is crazy. All right, well, at least we know how to get down there now if we want to. All right, so let's go and try this again. We're gonna redraw that path. All right, here we go. So the path starts here. All right, so we should pick up a bunch of iron from this delivery. There we go, and let's head on back. All right, here we are, about to finish the path. We go ahead and drop off the ore, and recording is finished, so now, now you should go back on your own. Do not drive into the pit, please. All right, I think we got it. Look at that, look at all that ore. Now we need to route this ore out and into our place here. All right, there we go, check that out. So we got an influx of coal coming into here. It just dropped off some coal to fuel that guy. That guy just dropped off some more iron. This iron is uh, going out and splitting out into both of these sections as well because it's already kind of receiving not that much iron. So that's gonna hopefully give it a lot more. And uh, that should just keep the iron flowing, increasing the production efficiency of the already somewhat inefficient production over there. So now we gotta go back and increase the coal efficiency at our coal miner in this direction. So that way it's producing as much coal as it can. All right, here we go. Cause as you can see, the the truck that we have already is taking, it just took, yeah. So this just gets up to about a hundred by the time the truck gets here. So this can definitely be much more efficient if we just increase all of these conveyor belts to Mark II, which I hope I have enough now for Mark II. And it looks like it is now producing at full 100% capacity, 120 per minute from a pure coal node. So that should be taking 120 per minute back to the other place, which is probably, it's it's more than it's ever gonna need. All right, so here we are back at our base. This is the co uh, iron drop-off area. And as you can see, it is definitely dropping off faster than it seems to be even exporting, which is excellent. So now that we got a new source of iron, I think it is time that we can start focusing on actually organizing the iron production into its components. So I think ultimately what I want to do, like I said at the beginning, was have a dedicated floor per um, material. Because right now we've got wire, rods, and plates all at the same time. So I think I'll have this floor just be plates. Then we'll replicate this on the upper floor, have it just be rods, and then a third floor for just wire. And then we'll have all the basic iron ingot materials that is just going to be going into storage. And then we can focus on the next level of uh, those materials. Which, uh, whoops, didn't mean to press that. Which if we go over here, we can see would be screws from the rods, cable from the wires. We need to focus on steel as well. And the interesting thing about steel is the ingots because those are made from basic materials like coal, which we can reroute from that coal node and iron ore, which we have plenty of iron ore over here as well. So you can see steel here takes iron ore and coal. Because I saw, I saw some people in the comments were saying that we don't want iron ore storage because that's just going to get smelted into something else anyway, but not the case. We do need iron ore for steel. So I do want to have a store of iron ore here. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap this up here. Let me know if you guys have any more tips and tricks. I'm glad I got the trucks figured out. We now have another source of coal and um, another big source of iron that can definitely be even more uh, helpful to us as we get better conveyor belts and things like that. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.